The Dragon Scales, a Math Reader by Sarah Albee, illustrated by John Manders. The Dragon Scales. Once there was a small town beside a wide river. It was called Berrytown. Everyone who lived there was crazy about berries. A strawberry balloon, a blueberry, and berries on the buildings, berry town. They loved to eat berries. They loved to look at berries. They even loved to smell berries. Berry perfume. In the spring, the people of Berrytown went over the bridge, across the river, and to the fields. There, they planted all kinds of berries. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and even huckleberries. In the summer, when the berries were ripe, there was a big parade. Everyone marched through the town on their way to the berry fields. But one year, when the people of Berrytown reached the bridge, something was wrong. That something was very big, very scaly, and very scary. Who could it be? It was a dragon. No one may cross this bridge, the dragon said. The berries are all mine. The townspeople sadly turned away. They wanted the berries, but what could they do? The dragon was bigger and stronger and scarier than any of them. Wait, came a small voice. It was a little girl named Holly. I have an idea, Holly said to the dragon. Let's have a contest. If I win, you have to go away. Okay, said the dragon. But if I win, then everyone has to work in the berry fields for me. Oh. Is that okay? Holly asked. The people of Berrytown nodded. It was their only chance. The school teacher stepped forward. I see that you have a set of scales, he said to the dragon. So these are the scales. I will ask three questions about weights, said the teacher. Whoever gets two out of three questions right wins. The dragon scales will decide who is right. Okay, said Holly. The dragon was not used to this kind of contest, but he knew that whoever is biggest and strongest and scariest always wins. So he nodded. The dragon gave his scales to the teacher. Then the dragon and Holly stood back to back. They took one, two, three steps. Which weighs more, asked the teacher, one apple or two peas? The dragon snorted. Everyone knows that two things weigh more than one thing, he said. So two peas weigh more than one apple. Two peas, one apple. Two things don't always weigh more than one thing, said Holly. What matters is how heavy the things are. I know that an apple is heavier than two peas. Let's see who is right, said the teacher. The teacher put the apple on one side of the scales. He put the peas on the other. The apple side went down. The pea side went up. The apples weighed more than the peas. The apple weighs more than the peas. The townspeople cheered. The dragon snarled. Arr. Holly and the teacher smiled. Next question, said the teacher. Which weighs more, a little bag of gold or a big bag of cotton? But things weigh more, big things weigh more than little things, said the dragon. So the big bag of cotton must weigh more than the little bag of gold. The cotton is bigger than the gold, but what is heavier? 
Just because one thing is bigger than another doesn't mean that it is heavier, said Holly. I know that even a big bag of cotton is lighter than a little bag of gold. Who is right this time, said the teacher. The teacher put the bag of gold on one side of the scales. He put the bag of cotton on the other. The gold side went down. The cotton side went up. The gold weighed more than the cotton. Time for you to pack up, said Holly to the dragon. The dragon started to cry. Holly felt sorry for the dragon. I'll ask you one more question, she said. If you answer it right, then you can stay, but you have to promise to be nice. The dragon sniffled. I really am nice, he said, but no one ever wants to share with a dragon. Which weighs more, said Holly, a bucket of bricks or a bucket of feathers? The buckets are the same size, said the dragon. Two things that are the same, think very carefully, said Holly. The dragon took a deep breath. He thought very carefully. Bricks are heavier than feathers, he said. So even though there is the same amount of bricks and feathers, the bucket of bricks must weigh more. Holly put the bucket of feathers on one side of the scales. She put the bucket of bricks on the other. The brick side went down. The feather side went up. The bricks weighed more than the feathers. The bricks weighed more than the feathers. The dragon was right. And that's the story of how Berrytown got its very own watch dragon. Okay, so that was the dragon scales. If you liked it, there's another story here that you can watch. And there's a playlist with many stories that you can watch. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye.